If you've just joined the program, we have the CEO and co-founder of Roska Artisan Ice Cream, Kamal Manilal. Kamal shares an overview of his success so far and how he continues to weather this tough economic storm of survival. We'd love to hear from you. So make use of our socials on Business Day TV using the hashtag TESME. Kamal, thank you. When, when, when I spoke about the story of checkers, I didn't expect it to be so magnificent. So what, beca what, what was next? Is it where you are? Have you grown beyond the checker store in Senton? So I think, uh, you know, we, we really try, as, as part of a, being a small SME, you know, we really have to look at um, how we grow our business. Uh, checkers is definitely the first step for us. There's already been interest in, in rolling out a few more stores to other checkers stores. Um, I think for us, it's just about getting growth and being able to get the brand awareness out there. Mm -hmm. We do supply a lot of restaurants and hotel groups, but unfortunately, we kind of like sit in the background because when our ice cream served in restaurants, you don't really know it's yeah. Alaska ice cream yeah. that's being But how served. do you get to those? How do you get to those, you know, the, 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 the supermarkets and the, and, the, and the restaurants? So, you know... You can't uh, go to Paris every time in presence. No, the obviously not. I mean, <laughs> that would be work out quite expensive. So... <clears throat> I think it involved, uh, I knew I had to get the product out there and the easiest way, well I would say, you know, the hardest way to have to do it was to obviously jump in your car, put a bunch of ice creams in the boot and drive around and knock on doors. Before I mean, they melt. You, before they melt, obviously. Obviously, you know, we'd pack them accordingly. But for me, I knew I had to get the product out there and it was, I mean, rule number 101, it was just sales, sales, sales. Get the product out there, get people to try the product. So it was about driving, knocking on doors, introducing myself, telling the owners of the stores, this is who I am, this is what my product's about, please have a go, try the product, let me know if you enjoy it, and if you do, I'd love to be able to supply your store. And we did the same with restaurant groups as well, because we realized it's not just the retailers that we can target, we mm. can also look at restaurant groups. And I think Johannesburg has got such an amazing plethora of, of restaurants, uh, you know, different flavor profiles, so I had quite a basket to go and look at in terms of which, which restaurants to approach. And I think the response was the same. As soon as the guys tried the product, they immediately said, okay, great, what's, what's your pricing? W what flavors do you have? And let's get this thing on board. It is not every day that I ask somebody about you know, the problem of rapid growth. People <laughs> battle with long-term growth. Yours has been quite rapid. Is there problems with that? Are, are there challenges with rapid growth? 100%. Um, first of all, I, I can say that our journey personally could not have been possible without investment. Yeah. That was a major, major enabling platform for us was to have an investor who saw the potential in our business mm -hmm. to be able to give us the, the, the basics to, to move this business forward. <coughs> Secondly, growth. I mean, a lot of the times we, we looked at the revenues that came into the business and we thought, okay, let's go out and just continue purchase, purchasing machinery. What, what often happens and what we found is that if you grow too fast, especially within my industry in terms of securing machinery or in terms of securing equipment to kind of accommodate this growth, you might find that you've outlaid so much of capital into the equipment costs that are sitting in your, in your factory or the labor costs that are sitting in your factory that you haven't secured the customers yet that can provide the revenue mm. into your business to cover that cash flow. Yeah. So it was, it was a very sort of step-by-step -step approach in terms of, okay, let's get the customers and then let's take the baby steps in order to secure more machinery quick. to cover that growth. Quick, quick. Yeah. I, growth, going forward, next five years, whatever it is, is the growth path more equipment or franchising your business mm. or getting more money to grow? I think the sky's oh, the limit. Yeah, I think, I think you know, we're kind of keeping the, keeping the table open right now. Um, we, we d the one priority for us is definitely growth. Yeah. Whether it be overseas growth or whether it be franchise growth, you know, we're always happy to have the conversation. We're always happy to look at how we can take this business forward and how we can take this brand forward. So we are very open-minded when it comes to that and we'd love to see this brand grow and we'd love to see it in every household. I've got five last questions in quick answers, like one with answers when you sure. can. Please, have you ever thought of quitting? Many times. Why? When the first challenge hits you, life is just easier to quit and, and look at something else. So many times. And therefore, what keeps you going? Passion. Not ice cream? Passion keeps me going. I think, And I've always said to people, 
you need to have a passion for something because any sign of difficulty or challenge, you're going to tap out. So passion what, is What important. do you do for fun? Um, <laughs> I, uh, I eat. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy a good meal. I enjoy experimenting with good dishes. I enjoy going to restaurants and I enjoy, you know, just having a good dish. And given a chance, would you do this again? Absolutely. And I would have started it a lot earlier in my life. Whiskey, coffee, tea or ice cream? Uh, definitely ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you very much, mate. <laughs> and well, all the best with the business. Thank you very much, Rams. And thank you for watching the Entrepreneurial SME. From me, Rams Mavote, good night and God bless. Welcome business, behind South African businesses drive to thrive.